Hello, everybody. Welcome. We start promptly in just two minutes. Two minutes start time here at Online Trader Central. Again, Melissa Armel is your host and presenter today. Start time in two minutes. Hello, everyone, again, and welcome. This is Kevin with Online Trader Central. We want to welcome you to today's presentation. Melissa Armour is your host and presenter. Let's, presenter, let's get started. Ready. All right, and here's the trumpet. Here's the trumpet. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome our host presenter for today. Please welcome Melissa <laughs> Thank you, everyone in Online Trader Central. Thanks for having me tonight. My name is Melissa Armel, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. And today I'm going to lecture about the strategy that I actually personally trade. A lot of people ask me, do you really trade? And the answer is yes. I am a day trader. I trade Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I have a system that I use that enables me to choose what stock to trade each day. Today's lecture is going to be about making up to $20,000 a month trading 30 minutes a day. The beauty of the strategy that I personally trade is that it sets up in the morning. I am looking to trade into the open that very early morning period, and then I'm done. I'm done every day, usually between 10, 10, 15, 10, 30. I do run a live trading room till 11 o'clock Eastern time, but it's rare that I'm in something even till 11 o'clock. If you have any questions as we go along today, Feel free to write them in the script. I will see them as we go along live. And if you'd like more information, you go to my website, www.thestockswish.com, or feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com as well. I have a ton of videos on YouTube, and you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook as well. We're going to talk really about the time of the year right now. It's June 1st. It's, it's summer. It's really hard to believe because it's freezing out today in New York City. We're getting a big storm but it is the start of summer and we're halfway through the year when you think about six months ago back at the beginning of january the start of the year it's hard to believe again that half the year is over but half the year of 2015 is is almost over and what were your goals for 2015 back in january now this goes for people that are trading right now actively or even if you have goals for yourself financially that has nothing to do with the market but you're not meeting your financial goals, let's just say for the year, if you're in your regular job, okay? It's time to reevaluate and look at that because there's still half the year left. So the great news is that you still have half the year left to turn your trading around if you're not achieving your goals this year or to do something different in your life completely, like learn how to trade if you are not trading currently because it's June and it's time to do it. So, can you make $20,000 a month trading in just a half an hour a day in this very short period? Yes. And the reason is because the market opens at 9.30 Eastern Time. And what I'm looking at is the momentum that happens between 9.30 and 10 a.m. That's really the time of the day that I focus on. And in fact, if I don't see a train by 10 a.m. Eastern Time, I don't even do anything that day. I'm so, so focused on that first 30 minutes that if I'm not in a trade within that 30 minutes, then I don't do anything at all that day. Many day traders, okay, 
are looking to only take trades from 10 a.m. on. That is the opposite of what I do. However, if you learn my method, it is extremely profitable, which is how you can get to this type of income per month. Now, a lot of people ask me, can I do it? You know, yes, you're doing it, but can I do it? I, this is a very nice email that I received from a client who just did the class. This was his first month, and I just thought I'd put it here in the webinar because the fact is I just met this gentleman. He just did the class last month, and he had a great month. So it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you don't have to be me. I've been trading for seven years. That's, that's true. But you can learn what I do and have results very, very quickly. It doesn't have to take you forever. And he wrote me this nice email. I'm just going to briefly read it. He said, thank you for the education I learned during my first month of live trading. I went 10 for 12. That means 10 trades he took worked and two failed. I took limited risk on those trades just because I was new. I know every month moving forward, I will take more risk in my positions. I do know for a fact that I will not hold anything past 11 a.m. And again, this is what I'm going to talk about today, the very important time of the day. He said, I'm just not that kind of trader. I don't want to sit around all day and look at a chart. So that was from Stephen. We're going to talk about the time of day, and we're also going to talk about the consistency. And Stephen talked about this here, meaning 10 for 12. I'm going to go over a whole week of trades of the last full week that I've had because last week was a holiday week. Monday was a Memorial Day and the market was closed. The last full week of trading I had was a week prior. And I'm gonna go over all the trades today in the webinar in a little bit. So you can kind of get an idea of what you can make with the system. Now, how is it possible to make this kind of money in just 30 minutes? It's possible by trading golden gas. That's the strategy that I trade. And we're gonna talk about it. It's just one strategy. That's it. That's all that I do. I'm not doing three different trades or four different trades or six different trades, okay, a day to make this kind of money. And really, you can, you can make more. It depends on your risk. But all the examples I'm going to go over today are just going to be strictly focused on being able to make 20 grand a month because that's what I'm discussing here today. Obviously, when you trade and you take risk, the more you risk, the more that you can make. Now, looking here, this was back from this week that I'm going to talk about. This is a, a daily chart on Marvell. This gap, okay? Now I'm going to talk about what a gap is, but this is a strategy that I'm looking for every day in the market. But again, I'm only looking for that first period. I'm just looking for that beginning move. So sometimes you get a stock, and this was one of them, where it actually fell past the 10 a.m. period. But what I often find is you really don't get that much more out of it by holding longer so as far as getting the most bang for your buck it's better to do it quickly and then get out it's really about the how what and the when so how do you make money in the market you have to trade a strategy that's profitable and i would say twenty thousand dollars a month is profitable but i bet there's a lot of traders in here that are losing so any amount of money to be up would be profitable but again you have to have a strategy that's profitable otherwise you won't be profitable as a trader and this has nothing to do with you Professional gaps, which is what I trade, are a highly profitable strategy because they create large momentum, just like that Marvell. And we're going to talk about these examples in a minute. What stocks, though, should you trade? The fact is that many, many stocks every day gap. So you, you don't know which one to trade unless you have a method to find it. You can't just trade every single gap, and you can't just trade every single gap against the where it's gapping, and you can't trade every gap in the direction of the gap. So I created a method to actually qualify and rate the gap. It's a 26-point rating system, but I'm not looking for a perfect score each day. I'm looking for 20 out of 26. Obviously, the higher the rating, the better quality of the gap, which means what? The bigger the move it's going to make, whether it's in the first 30 minutes or even for the whole day. When do you trade them? Early in the morning on the open when they set up and trigger. Again, I'm using my trades between 9.30 and 10 a.m. The big, big point that I want to make today, though, is that you can make this kind of money and even more with just one strategy. You do not need to be doing a million different things in the market. And the fact is the only way to get good is if you have focus. Many traders lack focus. I prefer to short. In fact, everything I'm going to talk about today is shorts because I love to short. I really only do shorts, although every once in a blue moon I will do a long. For the most part, of the 200 trading plus days a year, I go short. Every once in a blue moon, though, like I said, I will go long if I really am in love with the gap. 
but I prefer to short. So not only do you only need one strategy, you can pick one direction then just stick with it, whether long or short, and just get really, really good at it. But the goal is to make a living doing this if you're a day trader. Now, if you are not a day trader and you just want to do this on the side, well, you don't really have to do it Monday through Friday. You could do it whenever you have time during any given month. But if you're going to invest the time to learn how to trade and you're going to end up being profitable with it, then maybe it is something that you could do for a living. Certainly making 250 grand a year is a, is a living for many people, at least in the United States. So what I find is valuable about trading my strategy is that it sets up fast and being able to make money very quickly is exciting. If you've never done that, what do I mean by uh, quickly? I mean less than 30 minutes. Sometimes I'm going to trade them up like 5, 10 minutes. And when I say a lot of money, I mean anything that has a comma in it. Anything where you press the button in the trade and you're up $1,000 or more or $2,000 or more or three, $4,000 or more. I mean, that is a lot of money to make very quickly. And it's, it's an adrenaline rush, and I'm not going to lie to you. It is absolutely a rush. And once you start to trade like that and can see that you can make that kind of money that fast, you'll fall in love with my strategy and you'll fall in love with the market. And even if you're out of love with the market because you've been going through losses or different periods of your life where you've been losing and trying to make it for years and years and years, you will, you will fall right back in love with the market once you can make that kind of money that fast. It, it is a rush. But it is really about focusing on one strategy with the consistency. The consistency meaning to profit, where your P&L goes up. If your P&L is going down, that isn't good. So you want your P&L to be rising, all right, over the course of the years that you trade and the weeks and the months that you trade. Knowing a strategy that you can replicate can completely change your world. You could go from having a losing streak for 10 years to all of a sudden making money right after my class. I mean, people are doing it, all right? It has to do with the strategy and it has to do with the knowledge that you gain from the information that I teach in the class. What is the value of information? The value of information when you trade is that it gives you conviction to take risk. A lot of people do not really grasp and understand how important it is to have conviction when you trade because without it, you won't take the necessary risk that you need to be able to make this kind of money. You might be able to go in and risk 100 bucks or 50 bucks, but you'll never be able to risk $500 or $1,000 or $1,500 in a trade if you do not have conviction that it will work. You have to have that belief that it will and what gives you that, the knowledge, understanding it, understanding why you're doing it, conceptually, really knowing it, okay? There are many, many other reasons, though, that it's great to trade gaps besides the money. And again, as I was talking about, one of them is the fast profits. The adrenaline rush to make that kind of money fast and be right out. Also, the good risk-reward setups happen in that 30, first 30 minutes. Yes, you can take trains throughout the whole day if you really want to, but they usually don't have good risk to reward. What I'm looking for is a three minimum. Now, some trades go more than three. Some trades don't go, quite go three in the morning. But I get the move or the biggest move that I can make into the target in the morning in that 30 minutes. But the best risk to reward setups happen in the beginning part of the day. And the great thing is as well as I'm done early. I have the rest of the day myself. I can do a webinar like tonight. I can go to the gym, I can go shopping, I can do whatever I want. I live in the Eastern Time Zone, as I said, I'm in New York. And so if you are on the West Coast, you can go on to another job, you can go back to bed. It's, it's a really convenient to be down early in the a.m. And the other plus about trading my strategy is it is faster, because meaning that you're in and out, so you have less risk. Like if you're going to get something that there's a possibility of you getting hurt in something, like this mouse with the cheese, he could get rammed on the head with this and die. But if he's really, really quick, he won't. He's got his protection on, he's got his stop in, and if he's fast enough, he'll be in and out with no pain whatsoever. And this is really how I look at trading as a day trader. I think that traders that day trade and are in stuff, the longer you're in it, the more you're at risk. The more chance you have to lose money or that the trade could fail or back up on you. So again, my goal is to do it and do it quickly and get out quickly. Now, getting back to what I was saying about the knowledge piece of trading, why do gaps work in the first place as a strategy that you could even get any momentum or even make you know, money in? 
it's because they're created with large institutional money. Now, what do I mean by institutional money? I mean hedge funds, banks, okay? That's what I consider institutional money in the market. They make gaps, okay? They make gaps, all kinds of gaps. They make bullish gaps and bearish gaps. As I said, I, I prefer the bearish gaps. But you need still a way to pick which of these gaps to play because not really every gap is created with real institutional money, okay? The ones that work with momentum are, but not every one is. That's why sometimes gaps don't work and people try to play them and then they wonder, they wonder why, okay? So gaps are an event and they really create a sense of urgency in the stock, whether buying is coming in or selling or shorting. And then an action is being forced by participants of the stock. For example, people that may own it if the stock gaps down and they're selling out of it. But this is why, and I'm explaining this here, gap trading is powerful because you're trading on the side of that institutional money and that's gonna move the stock. And the only thing that can really move the stock is institutional money. Like the drop I just showed you back here in the Marvell, just gonna go back here one second, was a huge sell-off on this day that was made by institutional money. You can see the size of the bar here and down here at the bottom you have the volume, okay? This would not have happened by just a few traders. That would be impossible. This had a dollar move in the day, okay? And again, if you have any questions, you can just write them in the room as I'm going along. Ultimately, it is about control, okay? Control of what? Control of the price, control of the price direction. It's control of the price direction. If you're in something long and the price is dropping and the control is to the downside, you will not make money going long the stock. If the price is dropping and you're long, you will not make money, you will lose money, okay? You have to be on the side of who is controlling that stock. In the case of you being a day trader, if you're a day trader like me, you need to be on the side of the control for the day of the stock, okay? Now, if you are in something, for example, short and you are short the stock as a day trader and the stock is getting bought with institutional money and the control is to the upside. Again, you will not make money on the day. You will lose, okay? So this is a chart here of racks. I just wanna show this. Again, I'm gonna go over what an example of a gap is. The stock closed up here the night before at $53. This is the strategy you're looking at and it gapped down here the next day around 45 something. So the stock gapped down. You get up in the morning and you will look at this gap and use my system if you want to learn it and rate it to determine if this is a long or a short so that you know what to do. Because again, if the stock is going to rally, you need to be long. If the price control is up, you have to be long to make money. You will not make money if you're short and the control of the price direction is higher. Understand? So it is about control and the control has to do with who is controlling the price and what or who controls price in stocks as far as stock movement of this whole chart here, you can go back the last few months, it's money, because that's the only thing that can even move price in the first place, whether buying or selling comes into it. And again, ask me questions if anyone has any questions here for those of you that are new, okay, to gaps. If you don't know what a gap is, I can better explain it in more detail. But the idea is to find one strategy, which I have done, and I did this for myself, by the way. I did not create this method to ever, ever, ever teach anyone, quite frankly. Uh, I did it for myself because I wanted to day trade and I wanted to change careers. My, my number one goal was to make at least uh, 200 grand a year because I had been doing mortgages for a long time and that was the kind of money I was making. I was making more than that. And then all of a sudden the mortgage industry changed back in 2007, 2008, and I wanted to change careers. So my number one goal was always to make this kind of money in the market. At the beginning when I started out, I was losing, but I turned it around and I realized very quickly that it had to be about one thing. And it really got to the point where then I realized very quickly as well that if I traded all day at four o'clock, even if I made money in the morning, I'd give it back in the afternoon. So then it was a habitual thing with me where I was constantly making money in the morning and I was constantly losing in the afternoon. And it became very evident to me that the time of the day to make money as a day trader was the morning except for the only difference is you had to be right. And you had to be right early, because if you weren't, then you missed it. So then that's how I got, went through the process of figuring out what I do now. But if you really want to trade for a living, then you have to find something you can replicate. 
there's there's things you can do, but they don't happen on a, a weekly basis or a monthly basis, and then therefore, how can you do it for a living? You have to have the consistency so you can replicate it, and the money has to be there too, okay? So how do you find these gaps? You rate them. Now, we have a question here. Uh, do you wait until the market open to find and qualify the gaps? No, because I wouldn't have time. I would not have time to do it. That's what I call trading on the fly. So no, I do everything and figure everything out in the morning. And you could actually figure everything out too as well at night. I don't do that because again, when my day is done, I like to just take my mind off charts. I mean, I'm talking here tonight and I'm talking about charts tonight, but to be honest with you, when I'm done trading in the morning, I, I just shut it down. I give myself that 24 hour break of my brain to not look at any price action. And it keeps me sharp for the morning, but I live on the East Coast. If you're in the West Coast and you wanna look at stuff uh, in the evening you can but gaps happen at the post market close and the pre market that's when they happen and I'm figuring everything out before 930 I can't do it at 930 because I wouldn't have time if I want to get in a trade at 935 I wouldn't have time to rate the gap and determine what I want to do with it and so there just isn't time you have to do it before the open but that kind of time that you have before the open you could start at 7 a.m. 8 a.m. 830 if there's no rush there's no pressure. That's the other nice thing I like about what I do. I have everything figured out and figured out perfectly before 9.30. I'm very relaxed. Even though I'm striking quickly in the trades, I have 100% conviction, know exactly what I like, and know exactly what I want to do by 9.30. And I'm prepared. I'm prepared and I'm not rushed about it at all. Okay? Many traders are waiting till 10 o'clock, scanning for half an hour, an hour, and then, then, they're, then it's the pressure of the live moment. They have to decide if they're doing it or not. I, I know what I like and what I don't. I know way before 9.30, I know exactly what I'm looking for. I know what it has to do. I know if it's a good gap. And then if it sets up, I take it. And that's it. You know? Well, you, if you're brand, brand new, someone asked how much time do you need to get ready. If you're brand, brand new, you could give yourself more time, I suggest, if you're new to the system. If you are not new, I would say you could, you know, start about 9 o'clock. But if you're new, you might want to give yourself an hour, like 8.30, 8.45. Okay? Someone else private messaged me. You could just write it in the room. You don't have to private message me. Uh, do I trade the e-minis? No. No, I don't. But I've had a lot of people ask me about using my strategy to, for other systems and other markets. You, you could. I mean, there's people that use my method for options. But I personally am just straight out trading the equity. Like, I'm using the leverage and buying power to actually buy or short the stock. And I'm flat every day by 4 o'clock. But you could use it for other things as long as there's gaps in it. Me personally, I just do the straight equity trade. The only thing you really would have a challenge doing it for on a consistent basis would be the Forex market because there's only one gap. Because it's a 24 hour market, you only have one time on the weekend when it closes and opens. So you only have one gap in that market. But otherwise, you could try to use the system for anything that as long as they have gaps. Okay? But what do I do? I do, I trade the US stock market. And I trade the equity, and I'm using leverage and buying power in order to take the trades, and I'm flat by four. So the way to do it is using the checklist. You learn the checklist in the class, and you just apply it every day. And that's it. This is your trading plan. If you don't have a trading plan and you're trading, well, you, you need one to trade. Many people have trading plans, but they don't have a strategy in the trading plan. Like, a lot of people have trading plans, and they think they're doing everything, and they think they're so disciplined in the world, except for the fact that their trading plan has no strategy. It may say, I'm taking my trades and waiting at 10 o'clock and scanning, I'm looking for longs or shorts with the market, and I'm entering on a one-minute chart. What's the strategy? Why are you doing it? Why are you going long that stock on the day? Why are you shorting that stock on the day? I mean, there has to be an underlying strategy. So the 26-point checklist, the golden gap, is a strategy. Anything else I do after that is, is the entry, okay? A lot of people that even trade now that think they're really good traders and very disciplined that are losing and can't figure out why are losing because they do not have a strategy that is a basis for the reason that they're taking the trade. And that is what gives me conviction. I mean, there's, there's times when I have taken a trade that – now, you're, you, we're going to talk about this today. And you really have to have a set risk every time you take a trade. But I'll be honest with you. My trading is at such a high level right now where there's some times when I press the button and take a trade. And I have so much conviction in that gap. And it is the gap, the gap that's telling me to do it. That it could set up almost any way on the planet. And I would take it 
with a crazy amount of risk. And by crazy amount of risk, I mean anything over $1,000. Because as a day trader, to be trading on a one minute chart to take over $1,000 risk on a one minute chart within seconds to put it in a stop is there's not many people on the planet that are doing that. And I do it. I do it day after day after day after day. And it is because I have such a high level of conviction in this rating system. This is the reason that I'm able to be successful. This is a reason that someone like Steven and many, many people that have traded with me are successful. It is this. It is this. Otherwise, you'd never know what to do any day. And you'd be, you'd be waiting until 10 o'clock. You'd be scanning after the open. And you'd be looking for stuff to do. And you would not have consistently profitable results. Okay? And there's lots of different ways to enter trades, and we're going to talk about them today. And that is important because that's how you get the risk to reward. And we're going to go over the trades, like I said, from that week. But the underlying basis for taking the trade long or short has to be within the strategy. And if you are trading now and don't have a strategy, then you need one. Okay. And maybe that's why you found me tonight. So it is the 26 point rating system that tells me what to do. It's tell, what tells me what to do, like Marvell. It measures the gap by rating them on the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Number two, a big move on the day. What am I looking for? I'm really looking for a dollar in most things. Some days I get 50 cents, but the, but the entry's 10 cents. So that's still a good quality trade. All right, and these are on cheaper stocks, for example. I'm looking for early confirmation of the bias and the move between 9.30 and 10 because I want to be in and out quickly and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential because some of these trades can go later in the day. I just may not hold them or be in them till the afternoon. So what I decided to do, because many people want to know results and this and that, I don't track my results and put them on my website. I don't feel any need to do that, to be honest with you, quite frankly. I just don't. Uh, if you want referrals for my class or my course, I could give them to you. If you want to come into the live trading room for a trial, I can certainly offer you that for a week. And I don't ever see myself, even once my website is completely revamped, tracking everything on the site. But I'm going to give it to you here. This was a week of trading in the, a week of May, and it was during earning season. It is still earning season here now. But just to give you an example of the money, if you were in my room, you could have made this week. This was the week before Memorial Day. And this is the 26 points in trading in action. All right. On Monday, there was JSO. I like JSO was a short. All of these are shorts. I like to short, as I said. I rated JSO. It was a good gap. I wanted to short it. The stock closed the night before up here around 10, 10-ish. Okay. Gap down the next morning to around 970 something. I did a short in JSO. This was kind of whippy in here. And it dropped. Literally, this trade dropped to the target within 10 minutes. And then you had to be out. It went within 10 minutes. Sometimes stocks go, like I said, 30 minutes. Sometimes they go 10. Sometimes they go 5. Sometimes you're in them 2 minutes and you're out. But I know the numbers. And if it hits a target, you got to be out. In the case of JSO here, the move was only 15 cents. But the fact is, where you took the entry and put the stop, that's what it was. And you had to take it. But it still was money. All right. Again, going back to the level of consistency. The consistency is you follow the structure, look for the right pick, take the train, and when it gets to the target, you got to get out. All right. Now, JSO entry price was 965. You shorted it. The risk is only 10 cents. So this is a nice risk. So if you want to make 20 grand a month, you need to be risking approximately $500 per train. Again, I'm usually doing one trade a day, maybe two. All right, just to give you an example, you could risk less. Exit was at the target of 950. Total profit, $750. That's $750. If you make $750 a day, that's a lot better than losing, if some of you are losing, all right? And that's almost four grand a week, which is 16 grand a month. So $750 a day really isn't anything to sneeze at, okay? Not at all. Risk to reward is 1.5. Again, looking for three. Could this have gone to nine? Yes, but 950 was the first target. So you made $750 and you did it like in 10 minutes. Nice trade. That was Monday, May 18th. You get up in the morning, May 19th. Love this gap. It was urban. This is Tuesday. 
Stock gap down. Close the night before up here at 40.70 ish. Gap down the next morning here around 34.70. Somebody asked, what do you do? Do you look, do you wait down the open? No, I don't have time. I'm in Airman here. Boom. I'm in it. Stop. And I'm figuring out way, way before here. Okay, here's four o'clock. But I'm figuring out when I get out of bed in the morning here, whatever time I start looking, I start early because that's just me, that I like this before 930. This is a one minute chart now. Okay, 930, 931, 932. I'm shorting Urban. Price of the entry is 3480. Risk in this is larger now than the previous stock. Obviously, the price points more. But this was a good entry in Urban. Your risk should be close to the same. In this case, you could take 1,300 shares or risk 585. The stock moved more than a dollar. Again, this is what I'm looking for a dollar or more. It actually went farther on the day, but I just want to show you here. Total profit, 1560. This is nice. Here's your goal for the day. Almost three, you're almost there, more than $1,000. Dollar or more, dollar 20, and you're out. And again, very quickly. Do you see here? You're in this trade. Boom. That's it. You're out. And actually, went a little bit longer here if you stayed in it down into the 1030 period. But you have to be careful here of this timing. All right, so you're in it and you're out, and that's it. And to be able to do something like this and make over $1,000 is great. I mean, again, this is 1,500 bucks, and you only risked 585. I mean, not only, but I mean, this isn't a million dollars. VCI had asked the answer that question earlier. I do not trade options and gaps. I don't do anything but this. I don't need to. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, w I can tell you right now, I never will. I never will because I don't need to. I'll just keep risking more what I'm doing now over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I don't I don't feel any need to do options. I just don't do them. You could if you want to. Some people find it's a cheaper way to do the trade, but you don't have as much control. I have control and I like that. Like I have control. I have control of the timing that I'm taking the urban. Here, I'm in this urban. I have control where I'm taking it, putting the stop, my sizing, how much I want to take in the live moment, and where I'm exactly I'm getting out, the timing of my exit. You do not have as much control in options. So if that's the only way you can do it as far as cost efficiency for you, go for it. You can learn my method and do the options. But I'm telling you right now, I have you have more control as a day trader. A lot of people think day trading is so challenging, but you, they just don't know what to do. I'm telling you, it's the highest, highest level of trading you can get to as far as profitability, risk to reward, maximizing your profit in a short period of time, and level of control, and least amount of risk of where you're at because of the level of control of the timing. Okay. You can, again, you can do whatever you want with this stuff if you learn my system. You're not going to talk me into doing anything different than what I'm doing because I'm so good at what I'm doing, and I just don't feel any need to do anything else. But if you want to do something else, use it for futures or options or whatever, it's up to you. I don't need that higher leverage. If you need that, you, then you got to do it if you need it. I don't need that where I'm at right now here, like in my life. Okay. Uh, so what is the initial fund requirement for your strategy? I'm not a broker. You have to talk to a broker. You need to have an account where you can day trade. Okay. I can refer you to some brokers, but... I'm not a broker. You would learn from me how to trade. You have to have an account with an actual broker to take the position, okay? There's no minimum or maximum with me. You decide your risk. What the, I'm going over today and reviewing is if you want to make $20,000 a month, you're going to need to risk approximately $500 on average in your trades. So you have to back out in your mind then for that. But if you cannot afford that right now, you can still trade this method and risk less till until you can afford to risk $500 a trade. At least you'd be making money and learning it all the while and saving, okay? A lot of people want to save and save and save and save and save until they have all this money to trade. Well, you can keep doing that all you want. What if I'm not teaching the class anymore? What, what, if, what if I'm not doing this at all anymore? Because you know I'm not going to be teaching this class forever. I mean, you do realize that. Some of you that have been following me. I'm not sure some of you do realize that. You know, I'm very, very good at what I do. And my life is changing already here in 2015. So it's it's one of these things where this is an opportunity for you to learn something from someone that is extremely good in a method that is in the market that is very unique. 
There's a lot of people that teach graphs out there that have no clue what they're doing. I'm not saying that things don't work sometimes that other people teach about gaps, but it's a level of consistency that's lacking always. And so I talk to people and they learn gaps from other places and then what happens is then they, then they have uh, a string of losers and then they get scared and then they quit and then they think it's the gaps. It's not the gaps at all. It's the method that they're doing in relationship to being able to understand the gap. A great example is a servant because a lot of people would look at this and try to buy it. It was a short, okay? It, right in here, you know, right in here and actually here really is where people were trying to buy urban. Like I could tell, I was in this trade. I was in this trade already. Actually, there were two places here. Right in here and right in here, traders were trying to buy urban on this dip here in the day. And this is a one minute chart here. I'm not going to bring up the daily, but right in here, traders were trying to buy this long and I am short it. And I'm telling people, stay with it, 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 stay with it. I have the conviction I'm telling the traders in the room, stay with the trade, don't kill it, stay with the trade, don't kill it. It went up through my price before it dropped. I actually was short this here. I just want you to pay attention to this before I go on further. I'm short the stock here, all right? The stock drove up through my price, so I'm in the short. I was up in it. I didn't, I'm not getting out of here with one red bar. Stop is in. This could have pooped me out of it, okay? I'm up through my price. I'm in the stock here. I'm short the stock. I'm profitable. I don't get out of it. Why? I have conviction it's going. The stock goes through my price. I'm negative in the trade. Negative in the trade here, and I hold it through. And it goes on to drop. So this, this, this. This is the kind of thing that sets me apart that I really, really know what I'm doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you might take this, get out, kill it, flip it, go long, kill it, get stopped out long, short it again here. You, you know, this is, this is what, the, what I just described is what a lot of people do. Because they have no idea what they're doing. Okay, you need to know why you're doing this. And again, it goes back to what the gap, the gap, which is nothing here with this stuff here. It's the gap itself. It is the gap itself. It is the rating of the gap of the 26 point rating of the gap that tells me that I can short this and that I, and I stay with the short of this. I have a conviction and I stay with it. Um, let me just answer some questions here. What does a real time data feed cost? That has to do with various uh, brokers as far as the platform. Brokers offer platforms. Sometimes they offer free platforms. You don't have to pay for it at all. Otherwise, if you have a platform, the platform fees could be like 100 bucks a month. If you're getting something really fancy dancy, it could be $300 a month. But you have choices of platforms at the brokers. So you could get, try to get a free one if you want. You do have to have live data feed though, yes. The initial investment is the cost of my class to learn the system, BC which I'll go over here at the end of the seminar. The account with the broker, that's what I'm saying. You must speak to each individual broker and say, how much money do I need to open an account, Mr. Broker? And, and they'll tell you. And just email me at melissathestockswish.com. Kathy put my information in there. I'll send VC some referrals for brokers. Can this be trained at 5K IRA account? Or is this too small for most brokers to allow shorting? I have absolutely no idea if a broker is going to allow you to short an IRA account. I've got asked that question so many different times and people have told me so many different answers. That is something you need to ask, number one, your accountant, because it has to do with your IRA, and number two, the broker, because you have to ask them if they're, you're allowed to short an IRA. I don't want to be answering tax questions. Again, I'm a trader through and through. Why not give your service away for free if you don't need the income from it due to your successful trading? That is an excellent question. And let me answer that for Caleb since he asked it. Why would you think that I would give my service away that is, I've spent three years of my life and lost thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in the market away for anyone for free? Do you know that my friends have paid me for my class? So if you're my friend and you pay me for my class, if you're not my friend, you're paying me for my class. Do you think that my time is worth nothing? My time is invaluable. I'm giving you an hour of my time here today and let me tell you something, my time is valuable. I could be at the gym right now doing a cycle class. I could be out on a date, I'm single. I live in the greatest city in the world, it's New York City, it's raining and I'm here tonight and I'm here talking to you but let me tell you something, I think you're important here or I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. I run my own business and I'm not giving anything away for free because my system works and I never will. And my time is valuable and I know what I'm worth. The people that are giving stuff away from free don't think their 
time is valuable and probably their system isn't worth anything. I spent three years of my life figuring out those 26 points. It is invaluable to me. I can't even put a price on it. And when people say stuff like that to me, I am aghast. Although I'm never surprised when I come to webinars like this. Do you have any idea how much time and effort and money I lost in the market until I got to this point to figure this out? Do you have any idea? I have a great life right now. I live in a gorgeous penthouse in the greatest city on the planet and I work an hour a day. But I'll tell you right now, I'm giving nothing away for free because I know exactly what I'm worth and I spent years of my life figuring this out and I stuck with it and I persevered and I deserve every dime I make. Every dime I make for the class, every dime I make when I train, I deserve it all and more. That's the answer to that question. Now, another train from WMT on Tuesday was this one. You could have taken it here aggressively and shorted it. It rallied back and you could have shorted it here. Went immediately down in here into 10 o'clock or you could have got a little bit more out of it. The risk in this was 15 cents, which actually is good for WMT. If you risk $525 on 3,500 shares, this moved almost a buck. Actually, it moved more than a dollar. But again, if you're looking for 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., that time of the day. Total profit, $31.50. This is amazing. Now, you got to have the buying power for this. We'll talk about this more at the end. Risk to reward in this is six times the amount of risk made in profit. This is a great trade. But again, WMT can move a dollar or more. But this was a great, great stop in here. 10, 15 cents, look. So you're taking the short. You're putting in the stop. Boom. Drop into the target. And I just want to point out here this one even more. See this in here? It went 30 cents more. <laughs> Duke just wrote, go, 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 Melissa. Love your passion for what you do. Duke, actually, I think you're the Duke that's been following. You're the Duke that just signed up. Is that, you're, 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 you just signed up for the class. Duke, 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 Duke signed up for the class last week and has been in the room for a week. And it's just been observing. He hasn't taken the class yet or traded live, but he's been observing. I think, I think that's who you are, Duke, right? Yeah, that's, that's who I thought it was. And actually, he's been following me for a little while, but just signed up for the class even though he hasn't done it yet. <laughs> you want honesty? You're going to get nothing but that from me, people, quite frankly. And, and, and hey, you know what? There's a lot of great people out there that teach good classes. And I know there's just as many, if not more, hacks. But don't put me on that level, people. Don't even. And you know what? The people that meet me face-to-face -face know that. I'm, I'm looking into this thing where I'm going to be getting a face-to-face a, a -face, uh, where you could see me live on the internet soon, but that is not in place yet. When that happens, I don't know if it's going to be every day in the trading room or if it's going to just be when I'm doing videos. But if you saw me face-to-face, -face, you would know that, you know, I'm the real shebang here. <laughs> well, that's funny, Duke. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. WMT. This was the one on Tuesday. You could have done Urban and you could have done WMT at the same time. Okay. Look at that. Nice trade. Beautiful gap in there. There was another one on Tuesday. There just happened to be three good ones on Tuesday. Again, it's earning season. Right now it's earning season. Summer is even a good time to trade because you have third quarter earning season. Look at this. You're in the trade here. 932, you short it, stop in, drops. Into the first five minutes of the day. Okay, in the first five minutes of the day and you're out. That's it. Now you could have actually reshorted this and taken it down for longer, but you're in this trade here at 932, 933, 934, 935, you're out of this trade in three minutes, literally. 30 cents you risked and it moved more than a dollar. If you risked $540, you made over two grand. This is a good trade because it's a three risk units. It's almost four, okay? But literally, not only is this less than 30 minutes, you're in it for five minutes. Why? Because it went to the first target. 53 was the first target. Also a dollar more in the reversal time. You're out. Target, you're out. So sometimes these go like this and you can retake them. But you know, again, if you've made $2,000 in five minutes, I don't really know if you want to retake it. VC, if you want to sign up for one retrial, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Michael's asking about Forex. I was saying, in reference to Forex, these are gaps. So you can only do it once a week. I'm doing this five days a week. And again, fast means fast. As you see here with this trade, this happened within five minutes. This was on the DKS. Uh, Caleb is saying, Caleb, you are a funny bird. 
Caleb is saying, I would do it for free to better the lives of other common everyday traders to help beat the institutions. First of all, I have absolutely no desire to beat the institutions. If your goal in trading is to beat institutions, you, you will lose. Find a new dream. It's never going to happen. The people that run the money control the world. And the sooner you get on that program, the more successful you'll be. And you've got to understand that. I'm not trying to beat any institutions. I love the institutions. I'm with them when I look for these gaps. And they're paying me, okay? So the reality is I make money with them. I'm not against them. If you want to be trying to beat them, you will fail. That's, that's not the game here, okay? The game is to win. The game is to make money. That's the game. you got to understand why you're doing this. And my goal in life is not to help common everyday traders for free. That is not my goal in life. I am helping people actually in their own lives, and I'm helping them learn a system to make money, and I'm helping them learn how to be responsible with their money and how to be successful, and I'm motivating them how to be successful on their own. You have to take responsibility for the decisions that you make in the market and in taking classes like mine, and part of that level of responsibility gets you to the next stage of involvement in your own life where you want to pay someone like me to learn because you respect me. It is about mutual respect. Do you understand that? I am improving people's lives, but they're paying me for it because they respect me. And as a result, I'm changing their lives and teaching them a system they can use for the rest of their life. And they're making money in the market when they were losing for years. So I have a, I've gained a high level of respect for people. You understand? That's what it's about. Now let's talk about staples here. Staples didn't work. This was a loss. I'm going to go over this here on Wednesday. Staples failed. Got stopped out. Okay. Actually, I killed it before I got stopped out because I didn't want to wait because it didn't go in the morning. Here's where the staples dropped, rallied. The stop was 1630. It took till one o'clock in the afternoon for it to be stopped out. But I killed it before then because I didn't want to wait around. And, and I just didn't want to wait around for it. But if you did the trade, you did get stopped out. The, it actually, the high of the day was 1632. Talk, look at that. That was pretty interesting. The, the stop was 1630. But it, the high of the day was 1632. If you held it through one o'clock, you got stopped out. Profit was zero. You lost $500 if you took this. You would have gotten stopped out at one o'clock. You could have killed it at 10 a.m. And actually, you could have killed it at 10 o'clock break even from the original entry. So Wednesday was a loss for Staples. There was another trade, though, on Wednesday, ACHN, that worked. Okay, so you could have done Staples and this. The short was here. Stop over here, and you get the drop. So there were two Wednesday. One failed, one worked. One you took a stop, one you made money. Again, nice risk in here for the price point, 15 cents. You can take 3,500 shares. Risk should be close to the same, $525. Exits, $9. Total profit, 15.75. This is a nice profit. Again, $1,000, $1,500, $2,000. These are nice days with this kind of risk. Not that you have to risk this, but I'm talking again about making 20 grand a month. Risk to reward is three times the amount risk made in profit. Again, in 30 minutes. Okay? Do you see here? You're taking the trade. Drop. Into 10 o'clock goes to the target, $9. You're shorting in here. Stop in. 9.30, you're in. Drop. Into 10 o'clock, target, 9. It actually went past 9, but again, I'm looking to play in the morning, in the morning, in the morning. Okay? Quickly in, quickly out. Quickly in, quickly out. Quickly in, quickly out, even if it fails, like the staples. Okay. Thursday was NTAC. Stock did what? It gapped down. Remember, I'm rating the gap. It closed the night before up here at 35 something. It opened the next morning down here at 31 something. And it rallied. It's still early. I'm still looking between 9.30 and 10 to get the short. I short NTAP here. It drops, goes right to the first target of $31. Again, a dollar or more. NTAP price, 32. Risk is 20 cents. If you're risking 500 dollars you can take 2500 shares it goes buck so you make 2500 dollars this is a nice trade and happened very 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 quickly look where you, you did this <laughs> right out again this is like less than 15 minutes beautiful 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 and then you're out so nice trade and end tap on thursday and then friday was the marvel okay now, I'm just talking about the morning move on Marvell, which is the drop into 10 o'clock. But it actually all went all the way down to $13. So if you had done Marvell and held it past 10, which I don't do, you actually could have held it 
and made another 50 cents. You could have actually made double the move in here. Price of the entry was 14.10. Great entry in this. The stop was only 8 cents. You could take 7,000 shares of this and risk $560. Exits 13.50. Total profit 4,200. You could have actually made double this because it went to 13, but you would have held a held it past 10. But again, I like to trade the morning, and on this day, uh, if you shorted this here and took it, this is the day before the holiday because it was the Friday before the long weekend. But here's where you're getting the institutional sell-off. Why would you want to try to beat these people that are doing this? No, I want to be with this. It's the only way I'm going to make any money. Okay? You've got to be with them. So the Golden Gap final on the week, if you risked approximately $500 a trade, some are a little bit more, but the total risk actually on the entire week was $42.35. For the whole week, Monday through Friday, approximately $500 a trade, if you did them all, one loser, seven winners, eight trades, total minus the loser, $15,305. And, and every one of those is in 30 minutes. I'm not talking about Marvell going longer, Urban went more. Everyone that I am talking about in here, where the exits were, not the ones that even went past the targets, which some of them went to the secondary targets, just that you would have made over 15 grand, risking only $500 approximately per trade. VC says he likes my approach. You'll be more responsible when you get paid. Absolutely. How do you define your target support and resistance or measure move or just money target? I you use everything looking at the daily chart, scalper. And I do teach that in a class. And it's not something I could even say in like five minutes because I have to teach it to you. But it's really I'm getting everything, target, support, resistance, everything off the daily chart. Yes. F fish picker. And I am spunky. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm a trader. I'm a female trader. There's not that many of them out there. <laughs> What's the main? First of all, I'm a female trader. I day trade. I'm a woman. And I teach. That is very unique right there. Just all of that. <laughs> okay. I'm a very unique person. So golden gaps are important for so many types of traders. It's important because you got to know the good ones. There was somebody doing a trial in the room today. I don't know if he's here tonight, Nick. I told him, don't do anything with this. It's not going anywhere. This, this average range of this day of this thing was 20 cents. You couldn't have made any money if you did this today. If you went long or short of it. You, you need to look for stuff that moves, okay? The common theme in making this kind of money is the consistency. And you have to have the consistency happening in the gap to take the setups. And you have to have it move to get the good risk reward to be in and out. In today's world, you need to be very thoughtful about what you're doing. And this goes for any of us. I'm, I'm thoughtful about what I'm doing when I teach. I'm thoughtful about doing what I'm, when I'm speaking. I'm thoughtful about doing what I'm doing when I'm taking my trains and when I'm taking risk when I'm spending money in New York. You have to be thoughtful about what you are doing and why you are doing it. Now, I put this in the class. This was an email I recently got from Richard. I don't know if he's here. He emailed me about the class. He's been following me for a while. He's like, I, he said, I would like nothing better than to thank the universe for helping me find you if I take the class. This is not a student. He hasn't done the class yet. He's thinking about it. He might be here, okay? Most day traders lose, Richard says, and few make a living at it, he says. I'm still in favor of trying your system, but it seems too good to be true. Now, this is what I wrote Richard back this morning. I don't know if he's here or if he read it yet. My answer to Richard was this, and I thought this was important to teach. Most traders lose because they think they will. Do you hear what I'm saying? And they have 0% conviction in what they're doing or why. And yet they risk money in the market. Most traders lose because they think they will. Do you know that when I take a trade, I don't think I'll ever lose? <laughs> I don't. Now, I put in my stops to protect myself. But I never take a trade if I think I'm going to lose. That I just pass. If I don't like something, then I don't do it. Okay? And a lot of people have 0% conviction in what they're doing, and yet they risk money in the market. So they're not thinking. This is what I'm talking about, the thought process. What are the thoughts that you're thinking? What are the thoughts that you're thinking? Be conscious of the thoughts that you're thinking all the time about money when you are trading. You must. Okay? You've got to put a plan of action in place for what you are doing if you want to trade and be successful. Again, on average, it's about risking about $500 a trade to make 250 grand a year. 
once you're experienced, you can risk more. I've been talking about risk units. It's really just the amount of money you risk per trade. That's it. Um, when you become consistently profitable, what scalper? I'm lost with your question. I don't really know what your question is there. When do you or what are you saying? It's kind of cut off there. I don't know what you mean. The goal, though, is to make three risk units per trade. Gold and gas provide setups that have a 3R payout for the most part. Some, like I showed you the first one, JSO, only went a little over one. But you see on average, some went more than three, some went less than three, so that's an average, okay? Because not every trade is the same every day. And not every trade goes to target. But sometimes you get a 3R move in something even if it doesn't go to the target. And you're up the three R's and you get out. And I teach the exit rules in the class, even if it doesn't go to the target. And Scalper, you can write your question in again. A good risk to reward payout, though, is one of the most significant reasons to learn my system because a lot of people are in the market, they're scalping, uh, or they are trying to rebate trade. I could never trade like that. I'd go crazy. I, you know, again, once you get to the point where you learn how to do this and have the adrenaline and the rush and the thrill of being able to make this kind of money so quickly, there's really nothing like it. You'll never go back. Whatever the first day was that I ever traded gaps, I, I never went back. The first day that I traded and made, I made over $5,000 one day in a gap trade and I never, never went back. Now, I didn't know I didn't know what I was doing then. I had no idea why the gap worked or anything else and then everything started from that point. But the first day I had the biggest day trading, I made over five grand. It was within the first six months I ever started trading and I never looked back. I was doing gaps for the rest of my life then and that's all I do. Now, I, that, that trade was just like, I didn't know why it worked or anything. And obviously I lost money after that because it took me three years to figure this out. But once you see that kind of money that quickly in something, you'll, you'll, never, you'll never do anything else. But you got to know how to do it. I'm just showing here an example to give you some idea how to get to the numbers. Three R's is 1,500, which we looked at. Six is three. And there are some trades that go to 10 R's. Like, for example, if you'd stayed in Marvell, <coughs> but you would have had to stay in it past 10, excuse me, uh, you got a dollar out of it. And if you had 5,000 shares, you would have made five grand. But you're really looking for an average of about 10 hours a week, okay? So if you really want to make this kind of money, it's possible. You just have to learn the system first, and then you bump the risk up every time. One of the greatest commodities is time. Someone asked earlier, why don't I teach for free? I would never give my time away for free. I would never, 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 never give my time away for free. I, I feel that my time is very valuable, and you should too. If you've been trying to learn how to trade the market for years and you are losing, do you value your time? You gotta think about that, people. Come on. What could you have done with that time in your life? You could have written a book, all right? Plan of action in place for beginners. Take the Golden Gap class, which is my course. Learn how to rank gaps and practice taking the entries. Trading on a demo for a week. Then you start risking small size and you bump it up. $50, $100, $150, $300, $500, okay? This is what I suggest to people. Now, if you really, really want to go out of the gate after the class and start risking $500, fine, fine. If you think you've got it shebang right after the class, do it, all right? But this is what I suggest for beginners because you really have to start somewhere. If you've been losing, you want to make money. It doesn't matter how much at the beginning as long as you can show the consistency because then you can bump up your risk. You have the conviction then again in the market to do it to bump up the risk. If you take 3,000 shares and a stop drops a dollar, it's three, th three grand. If it drops two dollars, it's six grand. So it has to do with the sizing. If you take size and trains, you will make more money. That's how I'm able to do this now. So you can learn how to do this. You can do it from home. You can do it in the morning period. I think it's best to do it in the morning no matter what because you get the most move in the morning. The money move happens in the morning. You tend to give money back as the day goes on. And even you saw what Stephen wrote. He's like, I just, I don't even want to do it after 11. He must have started out and noticed that things don't really go after 11, even after the class. But I shut the room down then anyways. So you're on your own if you want to trade the afternoon. I'm not supporting people doing that. I know it's dangerous. You just give the morning profits back. So my class is called the Golden Gap Course. It teaches a 26-point system to find the best stock to trade each day. It also teaches how to enter and exit the stock on the day. It teaches advanced technical analysis. And it does teach support and resistance in the right direction and the targets, which someone's asking about tonight. And I'm really teaching people how to be good traders. So take a lesson about some of the things I said tonight. Value your own time. Respect yourself enough to value yourself and others too. Okay? 
And if, think about what you're doing with your money. Be thoughtful what you're spending your money on. Be thoughtful about the trades you're taking in the market. Be thoughtful about the time that you're spending and, and, and things that you're doing in your life, okay? So the checklist tells you what to look for and it gives you an edge because it's my own system. I created it myself and no one else has it. And I made it for myself, which is one of the reasons that it works so well. If you want to day trade, it has to be about consistency. Many, many people day trade, they're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but then they're not profitable even though they have some winning days. The consistency is what sets me apart. I am a trader. I do trade actively every day. So the class is a complete system to use to trade as all the pieces of the puzzle. The class is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free, so once you sign up for the class first, you can retake it anytime you want in the future. The class is online. It's June 6th and 7th, this Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $34.99. If you want to sign up, you have to email me for registration papers. I already have people signed up, so if you're interested, email me back. Melissa at the stockswish.com. I'm giving everyone the wealth manifestation class for free this month that signs up for the June 6th and 7th class. That class will be June 9th. Okay, you'll get it for free. This has nothing to do with actual trading charts or anything, but it has to do with your mindset, which I kind of touched on tonight but didn't really go into detail about, but I do in this class. I also teach a class called the Trends Course. This is June 24th and 25th. This is about taking long range trends. Uh, looking at long-range trends if you want to do swing or core trading. Cost of this class is $9.99. This does not teach you how to day trade, though. But this is a good other advanced course to do with the gap class if you want to do swing trades or core trades. And I'm offering $500 off this if you do them both together. So you can do them both for $39.99 for June. And take both the classes in June. You get the Wealth Manifestation class free for June. Now let me see if I have any missed any questions here. PRP says, tell Melissa, I have no idea who that is, but that's funny. Uh, what's the biggest hurdle that new students have with your system? Great question. Sizing. Sizing. Sizing because I'm calling the trade and I'm saying 30 by 50. And in your head, you have to think in your mind 20 cents. And you have to know that if you take 1,000 shares, 20 cents is 200 bucks. So for, for that is the biggest hurdle. I never, 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 never thought that would be a big hurdle for people. It's really simple the arithmetic. You can have a little jiggy up. I have cheat sheets. You can, I give people, you can paste them next to your computer. But honestly, that is the biggest hurdle. And I think it's hilarious to me because when I started teaching people, I never thought that would be it. But that's it because you do have to size yourself right because you don't want to take 5,000 shares of something and risk five, five grand if you're only supposed to be risking $100. <laughs> so it's, it's simple arithmetic really though. And you can have the cheat sheets next to you. Uh, how much is the room after the class? $250 a month or if you want to sign up for the year, it's 25% off. Uh... The classes are not recorded. None of my classes are recorded, but I do allow free retakes, so uh, that's a positive. I'm also doing two classes in June. If you're interested in the class in June for the later class in June, June 20th and 21st, so if you missed the one for June 6th and 7th, you can do the later class in June, or if you can do one, if you want to do one day, the beginning of June, you can do, do the second day, the end of June. I'm doing two classes this month because it's earning season. And I have a busy, busy summer uh, for myself going on here. So I need to do two classes right now uh, to get everybody in. I meant that if there was an event in your trading career, some skills that you apply that make you consistently profitable. There was not one. I'm going to say this and let everybody go. And I know I'm over time here. Just give me, give me two minutes to answer this question. Uh, I appreciate that, Kathy and Kevin. There was not one event in my trading career to get to this point that there was not one one thing ever that happened. If you if you think that there's one thing like that that's ever going to happen to you, you're mistaken. It really is a process of self discovery. It, it absolutely is, and in that process, you will discover yourself and evolve if you get to the point where you can make it. I think the greatest part of my story is that I was able to persevere through a terrible time in my life, the worst time in my life ever, to get to the point where I have the life I have now because I truly, truly believed in myself. So there was not one event, there was not one instance, there was not one person I met that had all the effect on me in the world, there was, there was nothing like that. It was a series of events of many, 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 many people that have helped me along the way and path of my life. And most of them was emotional support because, you know, I funded my own trading losses and I did borrow for some of it, you know, but really it, at the end of the day, it was like less than 1% of the amount that I borrowed from what I did. I mean, I worked full time while I traded and just worked in my 
job supported my trading losses and I kept working. There, there is not one event that's gonna turn it around for you. The fact that I'm able to turn people's trading careers around in one class, to me, is, is phenomenal. I mean, you ask my gift to the world, that's it. The fact that I'm even choosing to teach this to anyone, the fact that I'm even out there and dealing with criticisms like from people like strangers because I don't really enjoy dealing with that. I, I don't need to do this. I do feel that what I'm doing is actually giving to the world, even charging for the class or even teaching it. I will not be doing it for the rest of my life. There's many, many things to come for me. But the fact is that, you know, you really have to understand that it is a process. And even if you come and find me, you probably went through some process to get to the point that you'd even be able to decide that you want to come to me. I, that, what, the last thing I want to say is, even if you come to me and I turn your train around and you're immediately profitable, the time that it took for you to get to me to decide that you want to spend $3,500 on a class with a woman like me that you don't know anything about was a process to get to the point to believe in me. And then something I say to you tonight or you will hear from me in any of my videos strikes you and, 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 cut, and, and cuts right into the, deep, the depths of you where you're ready then to take the leap to do it. And then all of a sudden you do it and you're making money with me. But to get to the point to meet me, to get to the, all the years of your life or the weeks or years of your life, to get to the point to decide to pay me for it could have been all happened before me, but it has nothing to do with the market. This, this, is a, this is more than just learning this. You have to have the right mindset. That one gentleman that asked me on the email, if you think you're gonna lose, you will. You don't understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's a process, even, even if you take my class and start making money immediately, it's a process to get to the point you're me. And I will tell you that there's people that have taken my class, but, but they may be so negative in their mind. If they, if they don't absorb everything I'm saying, if they feel like they're a loser, if they believe that like they're a loser, then if I even teach them everything to do, they will miss my trades. They will, they will, they will, I will call the trade and they will do something dumb and miss it. Now, will they miss it every day? No, but they will miss sometimes the good ones then because in their mind, they feel like they're a loser. But I try to help people with that. That's why I'm offering the wealth class too. You are a winner. You're not a loser. You gotta think like that, all right? All right, have a great night, everyone. If you're interested, email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. Great questions tonight, good participation. Email me at melissaatthestockswish.com if you'd like more information.